Hello, 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 hello. Welcome to the final week of XDWC. It's been an incredible five rounds. We have had so many players. I forgot to do something at the end of last stream, so we're going to drop straight in and take a look at where we, we stood after round four. Here it is. We had Goblin at the top. Didn't move. 4,012 points. A fair ways ahead of Delta with 3,792 who moved up one place on Source by only one point. 50 points between Source and Knight. Shinx and Knight, uh, 60 points. I'm going to stop doing maths now. 10 points. That one's easy. Tilted, Woe, Vert, Gibbs, Snow, Freud, Rainbow, Ferrius, Asdu, Silni, Quasar, Uchi, Tofu, Mui, screaming up with a poor first round where he didn't really play too much. Having played last round, I found out he set that in the first hour uh, last week. So absolutely insane there. That's good that that's not working. There we go. And me, just outside of the top 20. Nature, Kabla, Plaza, Woodjizza, Shiro, Clasps, Dez, JH, who isn't going to be able to play this round. Soup, who has an excellent chance at this round being a weapons player. Godino, Akimoli, Amnesia. I believe that's brain. Paul Banano, Killer, Black Wolf, Amino. It's it's difficult to scroll down these names because you know we're right down here, but we're with people who've played every single day and are consistent players. But then we also have people like Dizzy who just set two insane times and haven't played two weeks. Dizzy back this week, so that will be good. Gouldron, Gray who missed a couple of weeks. A lot of people dropping places. Uh, anyone who's above 54th currently in with an overalls on coin. The undead's cuddling up there. Mac. So, yeah. A strong showing. Let's head over to the game. Doop, doop, doop. Media. Uh. So, Asdu came last this week. <laughs> so, we're going to watch Asdu's demo anyway. <laughs> Peak skill. So, this week we had 186 players, which is pretty good for considering the round that this was. Uh, 12th most players we've ever had. It was the 23rd best relative time, so a huge difference between the top scores and everything. Uh, 448 players completed any of the rounds, which is the second best we've ever had after last year. 113 players, though, completed every single round, which is the best we have ever had, completing all five rounds. So thank you to everybody who played one, two, three, four, and especially five rounds of extra WC. It's been phenomenal. Oh, he actually got the no jump into the vid. We're going to watch the whole thing. He's doing it. So this is no jump. I didn't realize this was his actual run. I knew he'd done one, but I thought he'd do an actual run. We'll watch the whole thing. Sorry. It's the last week. So this is about doing zero jumps using the teleporters. I think he was going for no jumps, no weapons as well, because there's some points where obviously you get uh, a rocket launcher. So a bit easier. Slick bit's quite easy with this sort of challenge. You should, you, I mean, one of my strats in the middle of the week was just to not jump and get across there, then start jumping in the middle. The respawns are quite uh, quite lenient. I'm going to turn the music down because I'm sure I was didn't. Here we go. Yeah, the respawns are quite lenient on this. Pro streamer. Yeah, the only problem is going to be the bugs next checkpoint. 
which I don't know if I should ever fix, but probably not by the time. So the problem with this checkpoint is that if you fall in the lava before taking the checkpoint, you get spawned after the checkpoint, which I'm not sure if it got fixed or not. Um, but it almost certainly wasn't fixed when Astu had this. So yeah. Yeah, so he's got to go past it to be able to get down. So he has taken the checkpoint. If you fell in the lava, you'd spawn behind the checkpoint, like I said, yeah. Nice there from Soup. Good move. Yeah, I was going to say, there's no way you can do that without... Uh, do that falling down one. No way, that's no weapons. This should be doable, I don't... Oh, there is lava down there. This takes skill in itself, of course. I don't know why he picked the Hagar. Oh, so he can't, he has to do this, I think, because the respawn trigger is actually really mean around the other side. Oh, ah, oh, because he doesn't want to have to use the weapon just there. Right, yeah. I thought it was because of the respawn trigger. I had a few times where I got reset by the respawn trigger because the respawn trigger actually is hittable. Yeah, this isn't doable without jumping or weapon, but he's currently on zero jumps. And I'm going to call it two weapons. I'm going to call the Hagar use. Doesn't matter how many actual Hagars you use. I'm going to say that Hagar is... Uh, Hagar's one per click sort of thing. Wow. Okay, he's actually planned this route out. This is insane. Uh, that, mm, mm, maybe it's doable, but yeah, I'll, I'll go with that. But even getting to there is insane. Like using step ups and going far enough to get fast enough. Let's, while we're going so slowly through this map, let's just appreciate Ash's beautiful attention to detail. I was sent the beta version of um, map 1 earlier today. I took a look around it and it's just grey boxed. With a few textures for different things, but it's pretty much just one texture. Walls and ceiling and floor and everything. One texture. And holes are just holes. And the work that VP did, so Cool mapped out that map for the most part, and VP did the texture work. Um, and the difference in the map between the holes, and one of the, uh, the key ones is the room just before the secret with the VP in it, with the, uh, um, the hex, the hex, the necks. The room before that secret had a big glass kind of orb, like a snow globe almost. That's just a hole in Cool's version. Exactly the same problem. You go in there, you die. Because you'd lose all your speed if you went in there in the normal, in the actual release, and it's way wide off of the line. There's an actual jump. Uh, but, like, having that orb there just, it fills out. There's a reason for the hole to exist. Putting wood and scaffolding and the logs and all that sort of stuff, there's a reason for it to exist. He's definitely trying to find secrets, but he's walked past two. Oh, he's going to walk past a third, I'm sure. So yeah, the way these maps are built out and fleshed out, although we have probably hit every piece of scenery this week while playing through this map, uh, I will take a quick flow through the map and show you where everything is after. Anyway, is there anything else I need to talk about? Uh, I was... Okay, it sucks that this is... Let's pause this run and let's go to some stats. So, here's the map of all the players. The darker the red is, the uh, darker the video not available. The darker the red, the more players. 
there are a lot of players from Russia, uh, America, Canada doing pretty well, Germany down there, pretty difficult to see the exact ones. So there you go, there's a better, better layout of them. Pretty good turnout for the 450 odd people. Uh, ignore that last line. Ignore that. We'll look at them later. Back to the game. Yeah, zero Argentina players. I don't know anyone from that country that played. I was surprised it didn't show up particularly, to be fair. It's, I've seen a few people, but I guess a lot of them didn't finish. I guess there's a few joining, because we probably... The, the BR server's probably the best pinging server in... Um, if, you, if you sort by ping, BR's probably the best pinging server. This is Asdu's run. He's doing no jumps. He's currently jumped once and used two Hagars. We're not counting the number of shots, the actual bullets with the Hagar. We're just counting the number of uses to get up something. Uh, so one jump, two Hagars to get to this point. He's not going to be able to get the secret with um, no jumps though. So he's, he's going to go. It has been quite insane. He's done some in incredible ground strafes. Normally I just use this as background footage while I talk about the stats, but this is too interesting to lose. And besides, I know I've got a captive audience. <laughs> You're all here for the records and you, you just gotta wait. He's gone the wrong way. This is actually his first run through, because if he... Oh, those, but, uh... Yeah, it's actually his first run through. And he hasn't even watched my video. I would have told him exactly where to go there. Wouldn't have told him how to do the... Uh, do the rocket stack, though. This is on solid pace though so far, you know, solid paced run. We're on pace for a sub 10 minutes. This run would be rejected in Mario Kart Wii. They have a rule that you have to use, uh, have to beat the map in under 6 minutes. I said we'd do some meme categories if people wanted to send me, um, if people wanted to send me demos and videos, but nobody sent me any. It just so happens that this is actually the last, uh, last run. Look, we've got to test the maps for whether they're wheelchair friendly or not. He really doesn't want to do... He really doesn't want to do that. I... I think if I was to make a map for next XDWC, if I like, I know I'm going to make a map. By the way, round six, bring your own maps. If anyone wants to learn mapping, um, I'm trying to. Uh, we can learn together. Yay. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, I think if I was going to make a map for next year, it would probably be a full slick map. Even... Even though that would be quite difficult, just because... 
Um, we can't use ramps, I guess, be the main reason. What's the attempt here? Because he hasn't looked. He hasn't looked properly at the finish. I should probably check how long this run is. Okay, we've only got about 20 seconds left. Cool. <laughs> well, GG, my friend. Uh, two Hagars, one rocket, one jump, I counted. Though I wasn't paying attention for half of it. There we go. <laughs> Next up we have your African champion for the month. It's JHL. JHL. 155.2. There we are. Ah, yeah, colours. Cool. <laughs> Recap that in slow mo. No. I've got enough as do records to go through with the November recap. Which will only be a few days after the uh, October recap. Which I have to do before November starts. So here we go. JHL, I believe, fairly new to CTS. Where be my browser? There it is. Let's try to see. Oh, all my textures have changed, haven't they? J H L. There he is from Kenya. Played round one and round five, actually. Uh, got 204th, 184th, and 149th. Reasonable times. Nothing too, uh, nothing too bad. Has played 12 games of CTS, 1 hour and 53 minutes. And a total of 5.5 hours of Xenotic. So... There you go. Uh, no. Round one champ was... Where, yeah, where, which one is it? That's the wrong one. That could be close now, actually. That one. That one. Round one champ was static. Round two champ, we didn't have any Africa players. Round three, round four were Broccoli. Uh, I would assume Broccoli didn't play this round. Because Broccoli had... Um, Broccoli actually knew what the game mode was about. Not to not to knock anyone who played this for what a, you know with any level of skill of course, but you do see some of these players not having a clue what the game mode is about, and somehow still managing to make it to the finish. Broccoli would go until he knew what the map actually looked like at least. So yeah, but there you go. There's a run. Next up we have the almighty Des. He's never seen a weapon before since last XDWC, so that's his excuses out the way. There's also AFK at the start. His other excuse was um, that he can't he can't steal other people's routes as easily because he can't see where the shots are. Yeah, we got a long time for your run, Des. We got plenty of time for excuses. 
if you want to get any excuses out of the way. Nice strafe start, pretty good speed off of that. Yeah, respectable speed off of there. And round that corner. Nicely slicked, smooth. That was the biggest thing I found was keeping it smooth through that slick. More speed, but with absolutely zero control was pointless. Nicely done, good circle jump. Some people were finding it was easier to just circle jump instead of trying for a downward pre-fire, which we'll see later from players. Um, good speed out of there. Is he going to go for the skip? You could have gone for the skip there. She had enough speed. Goes for the safer route, though. Still on good pace. Shooting for the skip. Oh, nicely done, actually. Uh, that was the probably the cleanest skip I've seen this week. And yeah, I think we're going to see a lot of that. Not strafing into the finish. I, I had a fail. A couple of other people had fails. Because the ending... You just... Uh, you could like clip so much. But yeah, I, oh yeah, the end. Very, very important, surprisingly, the end on this map. One of the things with this map was that it took... Um, because there were so many points where the entire map stopped and speed was completely reset, you had the ability to make up for it later, and a bad start wasn't necessarily completely done. So... Yeah. A 58.2 from Nature. Your overall Oceania champion. Uh, Des, by the way, your overall South America champion. Taking a clean sweep on those throughout that. Uh, Nature had some had some uh, opponents. You have Mac Mac, round one and two. Paul took round three. And then Nat took round four and five. But realistically, it was the consistency of actually playing every round that got Nature this win. So, pretty nice one for him. I, I think it's every year you've played, Des, that you're undefeated uh, South America champ. Oh, nicely done. One ball strats going low. Oh, very nicely shot there. Good into the hole. Get some shots downwards. Does the early exit, but gets caught up a little bit on the end exit. You can see that probably lost him the other point four. Not a great slick, but that's really nice taking that corner. Gives him better light and doesn't take as much ramp, but does hit that ramp, which isn't great. Goes for this alternate line around the side, which you saw a few players going for. There's a couple of alternate pipelines compared to the main line that was intended, which is the one we saw Des do with the double rocket stack. And then, yeah, just doubling it straight into the finish. Doesn't want to hit. It, you can double jump the side. You can double jump a barrel. You can hit a barrel. You can accidentally smash your face. You need to hit that angled down ramp. Otherwise, you're losing a second. If you don't hit that, you will lose a second. Your Asian continental champion with a 100% success rate. Wood Jizza. With a 57.75. Uh, Coming in 28th place uh, on the, on this map. Coming in 23rd overall. Nicely done. A little bit more speed than Des. Carries all that speed. Was he going to try and hit the rock? I am certain that that rock was a meme strat. Because you just spent... It, it gave you such a bad angle for the slick. I did try it at the start, but it just gave me such a bad angle for actually getting on the slick. It was better to get on the slick and get more slick. Really nice up. Thank you for teaching me how to do that up ramp, by the way, which is, was lovely. Nah, not a shit run. This is good. Ooh, just clipping that bottom. That's a pain. That was painful. Really nicely done up there. Over to here. Flinging it round the corner. And again, just straight into the finish. 
lovely jubbly run. Akimoli, a name we rarely see over here, but a name that is quite often seen on the HP server, playing combo maps. Absolutely a splendid combo map. When I saw Akimoli was grinding this one, I knew it was going to be a good run. We are now officially into the top 20 with a 55.17. Ouch. Yeah, Akimoli plays some really good combo maps on the HP server. Uh, set some really good times over there. I think every record he has is a fairly a fairly quality map. Like there's no there's no weird maps nobody else has played sort of thing. Um, and it's just pure great weapon skills, great comboing, really cool routing. Uh, quite a lot of the time we see him bringing new routes to the table and then having fights with other people like uh, like Riffo. But yeah, really good HP server. We uh, weaponer for sure, you know. Does not care for the strafe, which is a good thing on this map because you weren't strafing too much. Ooh, that's good. See, there's where the weapon thing comes in. Being able to do that pre-fire underneath himself. Solid. Super solid. Plaza. Next up. Down with Tegar was definitely a thing. I didn't do it. I couldn't get it turned around in time to be able to get back up. better to just look otherwise I was downwardsing into the while I was going up after I hit the third it was just not worth it but yeah uh, some of Akimoli's runs are well worth watching on Morisophos channel from the regular world records late run here from plus with only two and a half minutes left on the clock starting this one Free rocket. He's going to get the use out of it. Very nicely done. A couple of different strats on the free rocket. There's many different strats on this map. Not going for the uh, downwards. Okay. Extra little boost. Beautiful there. He's going to get a lot of speed coming around here. Goes for this. We're going to call this the skip. Uh, even though it's not actually skip. It's technically intended. But yeah. Beautiful up there. Cheers for follow, Kota. Splendid maps Kota makes. Really weird stuff. Into the finish again, just W. Let's go. Don't fuck it up. Beautiful work from Plaza. Ferius, who I believe is a top bot this year. Oh, very early in the demo this run. I thought this one would be a fail. It was so early. Free rocket off the ground. Goes for the top one to push you down faster and get a little bit of speed. Three pills downwards. Early down. Gets a nice shot over the top. Beautiful down, uh, down angle. Then gets the up angle back. A little bit of shooting in front of you, if anyone hasn't realised you shoot in front of you because of the where where the rockets spawn from the Hagar and where the uh, and the fact that they're really slow travelling projectiles. Yeah, first run of the demo, just breaking everything so we don't get to see your start. No one was doing any proper circle jumps anyway. I uh, can't remember who got the fastest circle jump start speed and it's like 520 or something. Nothing. Very nice run from Farius there. Next up, we have a Mr. Uchi Chicken. Who is lagging my computer somehow. There we go. The tastiest rotisserie on the server. 
there we can see some of the RNG of that uh, downwards mine. So we're shooting them, for anyone who hasn't worked it out, we're shooting the mine and exploding it at the same time. So it explodes mid-air, but it was pretty RNG how much horizontal speed you got from it. High nade, three orbs, smashing it down. Good speed off of that rocket. Back rocket and front rocket were two different strategies and they were quite difficult to pull off either of them. Beautiful Hagar there, that was excellent. Getting early onto the slick, getting right across, really nice for this end. Goes for the rocket stack, very interesting. Didn't see too many people going for the rocket stack. I'm surprised Uchi went for it actually, because I didn't. I, he was mostly playing on the same server as me, and I didn't see him. Uh, didn't see the marks for that. Straight into the finish. It's definitely some time to be made up from strafing into the finish, but at the end of that run, it was so difficult to get everything together that strafing into the finish was just like something else entirely. Next up, some pleb. No idea who this is. But here we go. 16th place. Very, very happy with it. Um, yeah. Welcome to the most panicked run I think you're going to see on this. Everything was a panic when I was running this. Super good speed out of there. Not the best egg, uh, second rocket. Keeping it low. Nice slick speed off of there. Get the free nade up there onto the top. Spam it down. Good exit speed, three orbs down, shoot myself down, get an early rocket here to try and boost me across. Oh, I didn't get the boost across. I thought I did on my PB. No idea what horizontal angle or V angle I was going for at any point. I kept swapping between a bunch of them and never knowing what the difference was. Uh, so we'll see what the fastest players are doing. It is a, a changing vertical angle that you're supposed to go for. And here we go. I was panicking for my life and you will see that in an upcoming video messed that up I did not realize I messed that up but then in we come I actually went for a strafe that is ballsy I had a fail by double jumping the rail well I PB'd but it would have been a second faster uh, earlier in the week I cannot believe I strafed into the end there that was a ballsy move it's a ballsy move I'm so fucking proud of that run though Jesus Christ it's been a phenomenal XDWC but honestly I was talking to a couple of people and it was um, like what's what's the reward of doing the grind the rewards this stream like I I would not play and just do this stream rather than play and not do this stream but yeah sick next up quasar comes one place ahead of me as 12 months ago he didn't play the final round and came one place ahead of me in the overall standings. So thank you Quasar for playing every round this month, this year and not making me look shit. <laughs> and hey, you still got me. Mm. That number's wrong. Apparently it's a second. Yeah, but oh well. Interesting there. Interesting there if that's going to be the strategy. Good speed off of that. That's going to be really nice speed. 1800. That's like the fastest it was possible for me to get. Good slick. Doesn't get the free rocket here though. I could see he was clicking. I think he wanted the free rocket. Blast it down. Ooh, dodgy. Down and back up. And fling it over. Round this corner. There's Azdu trying to root out his no jumps there. Very nice. Yeah, a lot of people didn't think about shooting on the way down. It was a tricky thing to pull off. I tried it for a bit, but found it just didn't quite... I, I didn't quite have it. Oh, and he strafed really well into the finish there. Quite some red CPs for sure, but everyone had red CPs this week. Like, that's just kind of how it went. Because you had so many different places to mess up, I didn't see green CPs. Like, my last, my green CP, I had one of them. But it was still a really good run, because you really just couldn't get clean runs all the way through. Everything was just 
another, another, another. The reason you didn't... So that end is a really, really dangerous end. Um, unless you mean the... Off the... Right... The left hand wall rather than the right hand wall. The end of shooting the pipe with the very final grenade that a lot of people haven't been using. That's because you could fall in the lava there and die. <laughs> because the rail, it doesn't butt up against it. It's a really tricky one. Next up, we have a Mr. Riffo with a 53.14. An excellent time here. And with an early one. He had some internet troubles, so I can imagine that's probably why he's got uh, an early record. Oh, actually, one second. I'm just going to pause this. I will restart this demo. Hood panels. Pressed keys. There we go. Right, now we can see the pressed keys. So we'll restart Riffo's demo. There we go. Yeah, pretty much a last second PB. Not quite as good as Plaza's. Plaza's currently holding the record. I wish I had my demo. I might need to go and find it. My demo from 2021, uh, the first round, literally the last second. So yeah, getting the press keys up. I thought I had them because I've got them on my normal setup, but oh, HUD files and stuff are apparently turned off. I only just realised. So we can see now how people are pressing. So the one is primary fire, the two is secondary fire. Riff are really good slicker, so he could probably get onto that slick a lot later than a lot of people and still make it round. Oof, hitting that. Having to go down rather than off the wall. Three rockets, if you shoot early enough, you are still in... Do you remember round two? Um, <laughs> you're still in the trigger to get the rocket, so you can get a bonus free rocket. Next up, Tilted Manoa with a 52.97. Uh, who had some words for us? People had words. Who had words? Who had words? Amazing event. Amazing organization. Thank you for uh, Root Guy. Oh, that's me. No, not reading that. Sort of. Uh, yeah, amazing event. Thank you. To the admins for everybody fantastic work who else have I got in I can't remember who I sent I haven't sent just to the top 10 I've also sent to the out the top 20 overall for comments confused Pretty standard start, so I'm going quite low on that and shooting secondary quite late. Got him a good bit of speed rather than uh, vertical, and that means you're going to avoid the pipe. That we won't see anyone crash into the pipe, but you definitely could uh, pipe. Tilted uses, um, which is insane for this map specifically. Tilted uses auto jump, like he presses jump once and it turns it on, and he presses it again to turn it off. Absolutely mad slick there. Round the corner. I've just remembered a surprise I've got for later. Nothing to do with Tilted. But uh, just something on that slick. Miss, did he miss fire the rocket and then manage to get another rocket there? Insane. Again, another person just not using the rocket and then going for the hole in one. There we go. Going for the hole in one. That did look a little bit buggy. I think, yeah, probably using low net FPS to stop getting stuck on a few places. Few people were swapping their net FPS between 
uh, two. I'm not sure if it shows. Des, do you know if um, do you know if info uh, bars at the bottom show in demos? Because if they do, we'll be able to see a net FPS toggle because Snow uses net FPS toggle and it does an info bar when he does it. But if it, okay, it doesn't show in the demo. Snow uses a net FPS toggle. Um, I tried to not pay too much attention to his run, but he was sending me the run for a reason. Gibbs then here. No comment. A good run with a 52.39. Oh, are you not using a net FPS toggle? Ooh, nice down ramp to go. Lots of different places where people are putting different rockets. Like, there's there's a lot to this map with very specific things, and a lot of it is just about what people felt comfortable with compared to what they actually did. I think that's the lowest we're going to see someone come through. He hit the ramp at 1862, which I think you can do it with 1855, but it's a hell of a luck with spacing. So, yeah. Absolutely mad. Goes for the hole in one. Doesn't quite get there, but makes it into the finish cleanly anyway. Not happy with that run though. Just goes straight back for it. Uh, what you can't see, if anybody's watching the UT Bunny track recently uh, and anyone's seen Soupy's arm waving, I'm doing Soupy's arm waving right now, but you can't see me. Next up, a surprising uh, 11th place from Source. 52.08 He couldn't hack the weapons but Here it is oh, Everyone had a dog shit run this week That's everything I've heard Like couldn't get the run I wanted I mean that's the same for every run every week But it's been so much more this week Ooh doing the down ramp Damn Absolutely mad Source is doing some cracked shit right here. Is is all of this cracked shit just for show? And it's actually really slow? Or does he like botch something? Because this looks fast. That's the strat. Okay. Insane. Nicely done to finish. He's going to do something stylish at the end. He's going to strafe it. You know it's source. He's going to strafe all the way to the end. Mad run. Absolutely. Top 10 in style right there from source. Top 10 in style. Hit the ramps a big plus. Next up we have Wo into the top 10. Wo sent me an absolute goddamn essay. Round 5 is great. Doesn't have a lot of weapon experience, but uh, like Wo joined last year in the second map of XDWC, played it, and then that was it. Um, yeah, don't have a lot of his weapon experience. Flows pretty good once you get the hang of it. Parts where you can gain and lose time, so killing a Rungus because you see a red CP isn't necessary, which is definitely true. All the other maps we've had, there are very few places where speed reset. Last week we had the one teleporter, but everywhere else it was like, if you're going slow, you will continue to go slow. The compounding interest of everything definitely was an effect. But this one, we had at least four complete speed resets. You start, then you get to... Um, the next shot where you shoot the uh, target that shoots you down, that stop, uh, sets you to 900 horizontal speed. The next one is at the down shoot or effectively at the electro because you could only be going a certain speed. But there are fast ways of doing that like just seeing from source and stuff like that. But realistically, the down shoot you're going completely zero and then you're going completely zero as you go up the up shoot of the Hagar. Round that corner, loads of speed through the teleporter, you're only going to get 600 out of it. And then all the way to the end. So you've got multiple places where the speed completely stops, so different runs are different. Um, 
yeah, it makes you completely want to give it another go and you want to hit every part to the best of your ability. Thanks to the mappers for making incredible maps. Um, and yeah, annoying about the cut on the side and not taking the uh, rocket stack, but that's what happens. Favourite map in the tournaments, round number one. Which was a perfect start, and I agree with that. That was an absolutely brilliant start, uh, round number one. So anyway, here we go with Woe, just a 0 0.05 faster than Source. I've figured out how to do the bottles. Murdering two employees at your ISP. In Minecraft, of course. Nice start speed. Oh, that was nice. Across there. 1600 into the corner. Good speed out. Free rocket really fast down. Good shot. Decent boost. Gives him good spacing. There were some times where you could go faster, but you'd end up bonking spacing. Just makes it round with a little bit of a step up. Perfect time to stop. That's insane speed coming off of there. It's the fastest I've seen so far off of the slick. Whoa, a really good slicker. Nicely round here. You wouldn't know that he's only played weapon maps about uh, a week, would you? Flinging it round off the slick. And a hole in one. Beautiful hole in one there. Very nice. The danger of the hole in one is if you didn't go far enough, then you wouldn't catch the down and you'd actually go slower because you wouldn't get pushed down off of the uh, diagonal. So, beautiful run from WoW. Who have we got up next? Next up we have Rainbow Shadow with 52 dead. Awesome. Thank you very much for the follow. <laughs> now nah, that was a good Hagar. And the round the corner Hagar was also really good. Ooh, nicely done. And going for the lower one, which pushes you up as well as along. Mad route there. Gets the forwards rocket. Able to get a good boost down. Holds a nice angle. One of the first players we've seen changing angle. I assume that was intentional. Great speed off of that slick. Flinging it through the air, keeping it clean around the corner. Rocking it off the floor. Great shot off of there. Into the corner and round. No final rocket, just a good finish and a nice little strafe. Gets it into the finish line very, very nicely. Almost full green CP. Who have we got next? Next up, we have Snow, who told me something earlier when I asked him for comment. So we're going to press play on this, and then when it loads up, I'm going to pause and I'm going to read the uh, the settings. First time doing a weapons map. They're pretty fun. Ash made a neat map. Weapons make me feel like I should stop playing in third person though, so I can see where I'm shooting easier. Maybe next year. I'll make the switch. So we're going to play this demo in third person. That's what I meant by I've seen Snow's run. <laughs> HCWC overall was a good time. There's some fast bastards out there. GG's all. He was really only here to claim the title of being the real Snow at first. We had a lot more fun of expected. And hopefully we'll be back next year. So I've recreated uh, Snow's settings for the looking backwards behind. It's not quite the same because his strafe hood doesn't block the character like he's really out of it. But yeah. Here we go. This is what Snow sees while he's playing. Uh, this is because he's a Japro player. Um, Jedi Knights of the Academy. And they play in third person generally. So this is, this is actually like I've se seen his video of his run. This is actually what he sees. It's insane. Nicely round there. That's the most insane shot, personally. Getting the up ramp. 
Goes for a pre-fire there, which I haven't seen anybody else go for a pre-fire on that ramp. But I guess flicking up in third person is just even crazier. I love how the moustache moves up and down with this. Which makes it even better. Great speed through there. Super fast. This is my favourite part of the run, being in third person. Just flowing. Third person looks so good for uh, strafe sections. But it's just absolutely mad for weapons. Gets the down shot. The, one of the first people we're seeing doing the down shot is the guy playing in third person. Absolutely mad. So there we go. The winner of the snow competition. Snow versus snow. Unfortunately, 96 snow didn't play too much this year. So good run. Great playing snow. Who have we got up next? Can we watch that normal? No. Next up, Frosty. Uh, so, Snow and Frosty, you know, it's good to be cold, apparently. Yeah, yeah, I've just removed it for next, I think. Yeah, Chase Active Zero. Cool. I just wanted to show off the majesticness after I found out. I'd have run all of his demos in third person if I'd known. And I will be doing next year if he's in top 20s next year. Which if he plays even 10 minutes, I mean, it's incredible how fast people can transfer skills into this game. It does feel to me though, like I can't transfer skills out of this game into anything. That's the fastest we've seen that be done. I can't transfer skills out. What? He's bombed the wall. No. Mad. Beautiful jump there. Nice Hagar keeping him up. Great speed there. I can't believe he bonked the wall. I had a couple of PBs with wall bonks. Like it's a, it saves surprisingly little time. Um, not bonking the wall. Like You really would be surprised how little it saves or loses to bonk the wall. And straight in the hole. Lovely, lovely, lovely run there from Frosty. Frosty did have some words, so let's get to those. Ooh. I have three screens, and it's still not enough. Didn't have much time for round five, unfortunately. Bash made a banger, as always. GG to all the players and mappers. Thank you very much for playing. Yeah, the green was all after Bonk. So, the Bonk gave him luck, you know. Yeah, it, for me, I think the bonk almost sets you up with a really good... You do a circle jump into the wall, you do a circle jump out of the wall. You're not trying anything at that point. You're not trying to do anything fancy and minus 1J and fall nicely into the hole and not land just on the edge. You're just carrying on with your run, you know? But it's exactly what Woe said. You can continue with bad CPs because you're already stopped at that point. You know, there are a couple of places where you could even just dump completely. Next up, we have Freud, who sent me a message as well. Thank you to everyone who messaged me on any of these. Uh, it is really, really appreciative. Advert. God. Why does it not warn me before the advert? It really should warn me before the advert. Okay, we will go through uh, Freud's messages. I imagine being able to save two or more seconds but not managing to finish single run in the last three days or not having enough time to play. This is about round five. You can say it for every round for him, apparently, not being able to finish a run. Which, yeah, that's been the message that's come through from him. But he's had some insane runs, even so. XDWC is great overall, thanks to his hosting, playing and mapping. Sadly, they haven't had a war so... Uh, cup for many many years so it's difficult to be competitive uh, over in Zenotic because the physics um, Freud was the person who mentioned circle jumping about and it was kind of a thing from all of the Warso players that they really get confused with circle jumping because of their boost mechanic off of the start that they don't do a circle jump which makes this map probably quite good because the circle jump wasn't too important you only used it for that time until you hit the wall down there and most people just whatever. Um, 
Congrats Goblin, Delta and friends have been very impressive. It'd be cool to see some of the crazy Quakers in Warsaw because the game's almost dead. So, if you want to check out a different game, we'd of course, if you're uh, only here for Xenotic for XUWC, we'd appreciate if you stuck around, come to the Relax Running, the Hardcore Parkour servers. It would be very appreciated. If... Uh, if you want to check out other games though, Warso, it's brilliant. It is, in terms of dual movement, I haven't played Warso Race at all before, but Warso dual movement is my favourite dual movement. So, it's probably a pretty good indicator that the, uh, that the movement in Race is going to be top notch. All right, so the circle jump's weaker. I know the circle jump's weaker because I've been told before to stop circle jumping when I go for and play Warso Duel. People moan because I circle jump because I forget that there's a button and don't always have the dodge button bound. Uh, is it completely different? That's probably also why I suck at it. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Freud's Run. It's a decent circle jump. He's probably the only one who cared to do the circle jump, to be fair. Ah, throwing it backwards with the mine. First time I think we've seen it properly done. He's using the rock. Is rock strategy real? That's insane. Really nice run over the top there. The Dez strategy that I didn't believe in. Sorry, Dez. Down and straight back up. Beautiful use. Going backwards because he doesn't know that you're supposed to shoot forwards with the Hagar because it's busted as hell. Um, you can still gain speed going backwards, of course. Really nicely done. Ooh, great rocket. Great finishing rocket. I mean, I was saying people were only going to get a certain way through, but finding out that you got another rocket when I uh, compared to what I knew about at the start, that made you go fast. Beautiful work there from Freud. Next up. Damn it. That might break things. What does that break? No, we're okay. Ignore the spoilers. So, um, soup TT, but the message broke. Whoops. I have to delete the spaces. And if I don't, that happens. But some, it's be, it's okay because the TT has gone into the number. Because uh, otherwise, it completely throws everything off. Anyway. Soup. Soup had some words. Round 5 was amazing and difficult. Was very satisfied to finish runs, even though I never really got a clean one in the end. We'll be the judge of that. There were conflicting events happening for me, so I couldn't play as much. But overall, super good event. Glad to be part of it this year as well. Soup has been a phenomenal player. A 49.92 over a second gained. Absolutely rocking it. Soup, a uh, yeah, complete 50 skip this week. What else did we completely skip? Oh, he didn't have a complete skip. Quasar to... Riffo is a second 0.23, but it, there's no skip because, uh, yeah, it doesn't quite make a complete skip. A complete second skip. Yeah, Soup, very good on weapons, comes from TF2 Rocket Jump. Did see him streaming his runs a little bit, which was really cool. Seeing some really nice rocketry gameplay. Only one shot there, staying low. Which is good. Nicely done here. Not going for the rocketing down, but that that is just insane. That's absolutely mad. And then shooting really far in front of him with the Hagar there as well. Different people having different strategies for the Hagar. This was the first time I saw the left hand of this. Absolutely beautiful there. Down into the ground and right around the corner. Absolutely stunning. I think with this we're going to have to go with top 5 get slow-mos because, um... Yeah, couldn't get a clean run in, by the way. Not a clean run. What you've just seen there is, and I quote, not a clean run. 
However, Goblin didn't re hasn't replied to me, but every other week he's also said I couldn't get a clean run, so I guarantee you he would have said that uh, his run's not clean from Goblin. But yeah, I mean, the, the skill coming out from Soup... TF2 Rocket Jump is nothing like this. I can't pick up TF2 Rocket Jump, but Soup's managed to pick up this like it's absolutely nothing. I mean, wait, 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 shoot when the rocket gets in the right place. And then we'll just point five slow mo round to here, off this wall, keeping it up, round the corner. Yeah, I know what you mean by it, because you don't get a clean, you just can't get a clean run on a map like this. But... I mean, there's there's no mistakes, that's for damn sure. There are no mistakes on this one. Look at that. Does he double jump off of that stair? I think he has to double jump off of the stair. I want to see this, though. It looks so cracked, shooting in front of you and gaining 100 speed. Then you stop shooting round there because you want to land early when you get round this corner. 1300 slick entrance. And then he just flicks it only the one way. Doesn't even need to go to the right. Just flicks it to the left and flings off there with plenty enough speed. Sends it through. Beautiful swing round the corner. Now here going on here so one right as he drops that was the trick i couldn't quite work out how that was done but it's right as you as you drop and then here you're actually using this as a ramp as well it's not just like it's using that as a ramp to get the height to go up here because that rocket normally would only get you just enough height to get on top not way i mean we're still going up we're still going up we're still going up Shoot it backwards, up off the side, round there. The strategy, I believe, it looked like it came out faster, um, because you were, but you were using a rocket earlier. So, yeah, nicely into finish. Nearly killed it. If he jumped just, if he landed just slightly earlier, he would have gone above that down ramp and wouldn't have been bumped uh, head hit down. Next up, he's back. It's Dizzy. Number four. Holding it out. He missed round four. He did come in 15 minutes on round four, but never posted a time. So, there was that. Fuck off, I'm streaming. Ooh, round the side. Interesting route there. Yeah, th this is everybody's one chance to say I beat Dizzy overall in XDWC. And I want that on a t shirt that says I beat Dizzy in XDWC, and all I got was this lousy t shirt. He must be using low net FPS. Because this is ugly. Just looks, just looks low FPS, but a very, very nice run there from Dizzy. Let's take a peek at that in slow motion. One thing I want to slow mo, just to look at it, is the Hagar up because something we haven't mentioned is the letting go of W while going up the Hagar. I was gonna slow mo on Soups, but he does that weird strategy um, of like flicking off really early. I also want to slow mo the uh, the shot. Oh, he's playing as Dongfish! What a legend! Right, so here, it's holding one really worth that much time because you're point four two. Yeah, look at that! Boom! Behind shot, flick back, absolutely beautiful. One off the wall, gets the jump up. Two thousand speed. Flicks it perfectly. Not going for the rock. That's a meme. What's he go for here? 
So he is going for the up over the top. Oh, you're getting so close to hitting those bolts up on the top. This, everything in this map is trying to keep you away from rubbing walls. Ash is really trying to keep us on the straight and narrow, but he's just unable to because we're all just going to do, we're going to do dumb shit. All right, right, super slow mo. So here, pressing W, going into the wall, plus forward. Now we've got to let go of plus forward about now. No? Yeah, now, ah, tap back. So, these guys going for the tap back and changing angle so that he gets more uh, backwards speed to be able to come this way and be able to get further across and do that jump. Absolutely incredible. So I was just letting go of W, but they're keeping it forwards and tapping back. I had to let go of W much earlier to get around that corner. I think that's the strategy quite a lot of people earlier were using because they seem to be doing the same sort of firing patterns as I was. But yeah, absolutely mad. Beautiful through here. Uses the extra rocket earlier. Doesn't get a rocket, but coming out of there with still more speed than most people. Gets the rocket down to the floor. And then straight into the finish. But not quite a hole in one. I don't think that saves 0.42 though, Knight. Is it really? Oh, sorry, 0.51. Dizzy's time's written wrong. No, it isn't. No, I'm reading the wrong number. No, Dizzy's time's right. I was worried after the soup one. Here we go. Knight's record. We can now talk about the Continental. So, North America Continental. Dizzy gets the first round. Knight gets the second round. Source gets the third round. Source gets the fourth round. Knight gets the fifth round. And the winner overall is Knight. Here we go. Let's see. So Knight obviously got the hole in one. If he's saying that if Dizzy got the hole in one, he'd have beaten him, then surely Knight must have got the hole in one. Oh damn! I, that is not. I mean, I was saying I lost a second and I hit the top. Like not even non hole in one. Straight up, didn't get the head hit ramp down. And that that lost a second. But ah, that's mad. That it loses that much for not getting the hole in one. I think I'd probably have tried going for the hole in one a bit more if, I, if I'd known that, but I was too scared by the end. Ooh, going for a different strategy here, keeping it much lower, not having to use the ramp as an up ramp. Oh, nice rockets are just so crisp. Just so, so crisp and straight in for the hole in one. Absolutely beautiful finish there. Let's watch that back in crispy, clean, slow motion. 2.2k end. It's needed to get into that finish. Oomp. Let's watch this. Holding mouse 2! Okay, and then you only have to press fire. Interesting. Interesting strategy there to just be holding mouse 2 before you even get there. So as quick as you could fire mouse 2 and have it, I suppose that guarantees that it explodes as close to you as it physically can, uh, the mine. Because as soon as it's out, it's, it's exploded. It's a pretty good strategy there. That's tasty. see this then so you come over here and then yeah this time not going for the uh, up, not using the up ramp of that pipe just using the rocket to get up which keeps it lower it means you've got a little bit more control uh, decent flick up there better CP yeah that, that's pretty much not everyone's got back to me but everyone who has has said it was just impossible to get the fully clean run going you know, I, yeah, I don't, most of these runs, they've either been all green because they were very early in the set, very early in the demo, or they've been all red except for the finish. But yeah, 
Amazing run from Knight. Popping him in third place. Delta next up with a 48.89. The 47 is real, they say. Which is absolutely mad. <laughs> so let's see what CP's Delta's got. He said he added up his CP's. And uh, yeah, these guys are on some cracked shit. I have heard. Yeah, there's, there's so many things and a lot of it was just picking what could you do consistently and then by the time you got consistent with that, you had to add something else in and make it less consistent. Okay, yeah, he's got... So, some context. Delta figured out that right at the end, I'm not sure if this is in his PB, but he figured out if you have more vertical velocity when you shoot the target with the necks, then you get more vertical down. I believe he does it, but I'm not sure if he had if he got the CP after he uh, the PB after he worked it out. But he definitely does it because he figured it out by watching the demo. Crazy and three rockets doing that. Wow, 2,000. Did he just head hit that? We're gonna have to watch. I mean, this whole map needs to be watched in slow motion. That's the most downward shots we've seen so far. This whole thing's gonna have to be watched in 50% slow motion. There's just too much going on. My god, I think he head hit himself on the down. That is two off the wall. He's won there. Great speed gain there. Absolutely flying through here. Nice down ramp. Gains some speed. Straight into the finish. Beautiful strafe on the end. Holy hell. Did I accidentally press... Yeah, am I playing on 1.5x? Did I accidentally press my zoom key that I used to have before we had all this, like, skip straight to the match thing? Did I accidentally press my fast forward key? What on earth was that? What was going on? Let's watch that again so that we can work out what the hell was going on. He did some of these things so fast. I know we've been talking a little bit about um, the... Uh, about Hertz, about screen monitor refresh rate and stuff and memeing on it a little bit. But I'm watching on 144 Hertz. And there were some flicks that I barely caught, that I guarantee you on the 30 FPS that's coming out the other end, that you will just not see at all. Okay, so we're just going to watch the entire thing on 50%. Like, I'm not even... 900 to there, which is just mad. Beautiful shot there, not doing the backwards flick, just doing the straight down. Really low, goes really high up to get as much downwards velocity as he can and gets as much time on the slick as possible. Beautiful round the edge. One there, one there, 200 speed, right off the top. Absolute perfect timing to push him down and a bit of speed. Gets a shot, oh, hold on, let's just slow that down even more. No idea what's just got on there and that was in half speed. And then he's jumping off of here, but then is he is he aiming? So he's aimed for that, and he's actually hit that down ramp, and then he gets the boost now from that rocket, and then he's pushing himself away from the ramp. He's got an extra rocket. He's he's got an extra rocket from that. He's shot that first rocket while still in the trigger, giving him the uh, rocket because you only get two rockets normally there. So now he's still got the third rocket to go. Shoots it downwards, which I heard them talking about not even being able to do that because they are heading down this ramp here. So they're heading down the chute so fast that the reload doesn't happen after the second rocket that they can't sh shoot the third one. He barely gets the shot in. Goblin said he gave up on it. So we'll see what happens there. Coming down here, he's shooting downwards, which is absolutely mad. The most we've seen is five shots before this one. And he manages to get seven. And he's st he's just shooting because, yeah, you might as well. He's just timed it so perfectly that he doesn't need to stop shooting. Beautiful timing on letting go of W. Turning around, hitting the head. 
Just standard strats on that one. Nothing too fancy other than just being really good at it. The, the difference between this and sort of further down in the bottom half of the top 10 is the adjustment of angles during using the Hagar because it's always constantly changing because these projectiles are so slow that you have to constantly change the perfect angle. There is no perfect angle if anyone's played Quake 3 and just you have that uh, pitch angle. Um, and same with Warsaw, I believe. There's just a perfect pitch angle. You have to change it constantly with the Hagar because it's a big explosion and very slow. Absolutely mad through here. Flicks it round, gets super close to that corner. Great strafes through. Full speed, one there, and then he's going to go off the wall. Because, yeah, he's boosted himself up with high speed and high height. And then he's going, and it's absolutely perfect to land just where he needs to. Get straight back on the strafe here. Gaining speed, gaining speed, gaining speed. Shot off that wall, turns around, pre-fire this one just where it needs to be, right at the corner. That's got to have been timing it with the corner, surely. Either that or it's just flow and feel. Off and up. I think he gets a down ramp here, or maybe he doesn't even quite get around the corner. I does get... The, he gets a slowdown? Oh, he's overturning, yeah. And then just a little flick and straight into the hole in one. 48-89, what a run. But that's not even the fastest run. Goblin's off, second faster. I, I, I know I'm not going to be able to say anything about this. If I can say anything about this in full speed, then... Goblins pulled off the best run ever. Oh, I have CPs, don't I? I haven't too much been looking at CPs because they're a bit busted. So, Goblins CP2. Goblin CP2 and Delta CP2 are the same, and they are 10, 20 milliseconds faster than everyone else. 10 to 20 milliseconds faster than everybody else. Absolutely mad. Goblin CP7 is slower than Delta's by a good chunk, and slower than Knight's. So that's the split from... Uh, after the skip, I believe. Ooh, graphs. Strafe percentage is all over the place and nothing worth looking at. Soup somehow has the highest strafe percentage. Interesting. Out the top 20 at least. Here we go then. Here is Goblin's run. Out the blocks like an absolute rocket. 900 to there. Great shot around the back. Full speed. 2100. Absolutely mad. He's done rock straps. That's the fastest we've seen around there. Off the back wall. Round this corner. What the hell? What the hell is that? He's shot the Electro in the air. He's the only man who understands the Electro. He's just not letting go of that fire button. He's shot the Electro in the air. What an absolute mad lad. Actually busted. And he's hit the ramp. That's why his CP7's crap. He's hit the ramp. What on earth is this man? That's beautiful there. Perfect spacing. He's got the down ramp at the end. And then he's, he's not even straight into the finish <laughs> what's that save that straight into the finish night straight into the finish what the hell is that you say it's point 47 if he gets straight into the finish if he doesn't hit the rap what 
What? What are we witnessing? The hell is that? Yeah, PH is worse. Like, I mean, the strafe bot literally couldn't beat Dizzy. Um, but look at Goblin's strafe percentage last week. Like, 8% higher than, sec than second best? Uh, maybe 0 0.2, but he's going to save more if he doesn't hit the ramp. Because that's just poor spacing. That's all we have is poor spacing. Again, 50% for the entire thing, except for the bits that we need to really look at, which is going to be all the bloody run. So here, doing the holding... Uh, ooh, that's clever. So what he's done there is actually to... I, I bet everyone else has done this and they just haven't noticed it. He's used it to get around the corner because there was a lot of hitting this inside corner uh, that we're just about to go past. So he's used that to adjust his tra trajectory, which is mint. Round here. One rocket. Two rockets. Who needs 1800? Sending it absolutely massive. He's going low over this. So as Delta uh, pointed out, we get um, more speed downwards if you've got more hor more vertical trajectory. He's just going so fast. And then he is going to hit... He's hitting the rock for 350 speed into the slick actually insane surely that was a meme strat here's the madness these that he's about to jump off of this is the most ballsy move in my opinion because you can get caught on every single one of those spines most people who've come up the stairs will know you're hitting those spines every once in every 10 runs probably just try to get up the stairs yeah, no, this is the ball. This is more ballsy rather than the electro. The electro is insane, but yeah, yeah, that that rock is insane. I didn't think it was possible because it's it doesn't put you in the right place. It doesn't put you in the right place. We can now probably understand. So this is where we're going to understand why Goblin wasn't able to get that third rocket on the down shoot because he's going so fast down compared to Delta's down shoot so we hit the ramp a standard ramp he uses two balls so you get three balls one shot or two shots two balls he uses two balls and one shot I oh, know he's still got a ball and a shot I think somehow absolutely mad absolutely mad he's going for this down he's hit the down ramp there he's gone for the down ramp and that's probably why actually let's see uh hud panel physics speed vertical one so he's going down at 1900 units he's going absolutely ins like that's how fast he's going down he's going tw a rocket's about a thousand he's going twice as fast as a rocket oh he does get the rocket down oh okay then all right we're gonna turn that off because otherwise it goes every it goes really weird right slow motion still he's just firing he's just started blasting not quite as clean on that as Delta, but he's absolutely mad coming up here. Super fast. Flick it off there. Again, just adjusting the angle as he goes. Not holding it in one position. He knows what he's got to do. He's going so fast. He's got to let off of the rocketry early to be able to get down here. He's landing super deep in this slick, but we know Goblin's one of the best slick players going. So he's going to pull it right to the edge of this wall, graze that wall, no speed loss, flick it out. We've seen faster slicks, but we've not seen people coming in with that much. And those faster slicks had half the slick extra to Goblin. Beautiful spacing though, he doesn't lose much speed off of that. And he's back on the strafes. Now's, gonna be the, now's this brutal bit. He comes around here, he gets it off there, and he comes here and 
just the speed that he's going means that he doesn't get the second landing but he's not quite fast enough to make it over the top so he hits there which means he loses uh, 2.2 to delta across that CP that ends up here. Realistically you're not losing anything coming out of here this is just a straight line till you hit that checkpoint. But between checkpoint 6 and 7 he loses 0.2 which is that whole um, that whole best split. So he's on his absolute best up till that point. Absolutely mad. Goblin with one of the cleanest runs. Did I, did I, no, no. How, how do I rewind this game? <laughs> he do, he jumped off the pipe. He, he jumped off of the pipe. We're going to have to go back because Delta didn't do that. Delta just did normal. That was beautiful. That is beautiful right there. And then he gets the, this down ramp. This is ballsy because you can't just hug this wall, right? You can't just hug this pipe over on the, the right hand side because you'll just fall straight into the lava. So you have to precision bounce on the railing and then shoot the rocket and avoid the big uh, pipe linker thing there that I probably should know the name of. And then not eat shit around the last corner get on the slick at the right time and as soon as you know you're on the slick look at how beautifully timed that was as soon as he knew he was on the slick instantly boom, no break in it instantly pushing harder on the mouse to make sure that he wasn't oversteering before he hit the slick and as soon as he gets on the slick it's as hard as he possibly can gaining as much speed as he possibly can to try and fling himself into the finish strafe as hard as he can because he's just not quite got enough speed to get directly into the finish oh absolutely mad that he didn't have enough speed because he hits there and he bonks the head and it's straight down absolutely mad time from Goblin got to see that the electro bit again and we've got to see the double jump off of the pipe barrier because that that makes up for that shortcut and that sort of or side cut being a thing I mean, I'm speechless. I really am. He's done absolutely everything correct, and then he's got unlucky in two sections. But that he's just that. I mean, it's ins watching this again at full speed. Like, have I pressed my ten times speed button by mistake? Just insane. Just absolutely insane. He's a level above. He really is, this man. He's a level above. Boom. Going up and over. The slick down there, you're not gaining speed off of it anyway. Double jump off that rail. You know, Ash built some beautiful scenery and he tried to stop people from uh, exploiting it, but apparently it didn't work quite as well as he wanted to. Crouch into this, because otherwise you're going to head hit at the wrong point. Get the head hit there. Rocket it down. Again, 1900 speed. I should have put the uh, vertical speed back on for that one. Shoots the rocket down. Great speed. Great timing on the jump to be able to go. Round here. Down, down, down. I mean, this bit isn't even that impressive. Just a gentle back tap and then forwards tap. Just beautiful. Super clean, super speed, round here. Look how deep he landed on that slick, absolutely mad. Good heavens. It's just... Oh no, I've missed it, what a sodding idiot. We'll watch it again. 
till I remember that I've got to slow mo that bit. It's worth watching a million times, honestly. Just absolutely mad. Is there anyone that could stop him? Because a few names were thrown around from the Quake 3 community and a couple of other communities of people that could potentially stop him. Also, yeah, Coz just needs to get good. Um, like, but, but is there? Is there anyone? You know? People were throwing around Baz and Anne. And... Like... But could they? <laughs> I mean, I watched the whole battle between Baz and Goblin on City Rock. It was insane. But... Yeah. I mean, I remember 2021 uh, Baz. He said it was his last one. He said he hadn't played since the previous one. And he's still cooked. That's just mad. How far he gets into here before landing. Everyone else was saying we have to land as early as possible on um, on the slick. Otherwise, we don't get the speed we need to be able to make this gap. And then there's Goblin, who just lands like half late and gets the second fastest speed I've seen. Just flings it. Faster than I ever got. Even try my hardest to get that. Remember the pipe? Yeah, I'm just slow mo it from here the entire way. I'm going to pause it at the pipe, though. But he gets that, I think he, and he, yeah. And he just eats that for minus 150. What must be going through your head at that point to not, I mean, he doesn't kill the run because he's an absolute baller. Uh, and then he does this. This is just the most insane thing. I've seen. Even more insane than the grenades. He comes up here, and then right where the crosshair is now, he's going to double jump off of that. Boom. Get a little bit more height. A little bit more speed. Just beautiful. Oh, right, just a simple jump, yeah. But it's, it's more height. It's more height, which means he can get more speed from the uh, from the rocket rather than having to give himself height with the second rocket. Just beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful. Yes, Cos, that's how you do it. I mean, look at that rocket from Goblin. He shoots himself to perfectly at the bottom of that ramp. Yeah, it's hard to pull off. For me, it feels like there's almost snaps to it. Like, you go at a certain speed and you'd shoot way far ahead, and you put, go at a certain slightly less speed and you're basically shooting straight down again. Look at this. So he's going to land just on the edge of that and get 100 speed from it. <laughs> Thanks. Just going to use that again, and then off of there into here and like I said as soon as he knows he's on the slick and this is the thing the slick indicator is probably already going off for him I wouldn't be surprised if he's probably got it set a bit less extreme than I've got mine mine's on pretty high slick detection range but still it's not going to be it's going to still go off but he's just so flawless with when he starts to slick here and on the other slicks in the map but just absolutely flawless with it Yeah, he's just just a pure slick guy. Absolutely mad. Then he gets a ramp there and down into the finish. Point two saved. And then he's got point two on the other one. The 47's real. With 
a tiny bit of luck. Like, the world just had to give him poor luck, because otherwise he would have destroyed us too hard. Absolutely nutty run, that. In fact, the Gamer of the Year for a reason. Right, XWC 2024-5. Why is my hat on the table? Let's show off the secrets. Oh, why is my... Okay. Apparently my slick cud... I've been working out why my slick cud's bugging on maps, but apparently it's just bugging for some reason. That's fine. Ignore the slick... Uh, ignore the strafe hud bugging. I don't know why it's doing that. Grind for Gerald. That's the first secret. Our absolute favourite, Mr. Gerald. That's my controller. There we go. Next. 46 is real? What? Ah, oh, I missed it. Pro gamer right here. Nope. Right. Next secret. Here we are, a donation room, all of the donators. If you want to donate to either the XDF RRHP regular sort of servers, or if you want to donate to the XDWC servers, always much appreciated, but not required at all to play. Thank you very much to all these wonderful people for donating. It keeps the servers running. And remember, live fast, die young, respawn and try again. And the next one. All these things are right at the end of sections, so I have to practice my skills and see if I still have it. Fortunately, I don't have to do the skip on this. It's almost enough speed to do the skip. Can I do it one shot? Let's go. Beautiful. Here we are. Last year's Dizzy, Goblin, Goblin, Dizzy, Goblin. Goblin, Dizzy, and Delta on the podium, and all 496 players that played. There is everyone, Soup's moving up. Special one off playing UT Bunny Track at the minute. Plenty of people hanging around. Goblin still up there. Is Soup also UTBTing? That's what he said that there were other stuff. I haven't seen him. I've only been half watching to be honest. I didn't watch I've only watched Div 1 and Prem. I missed all the rest of it. Right, last secret. Yeah, it's UT Bunny Track going on if anybody uh if anyone's missing this content after it's finished. So this is where Asju was so close in his run, trying to find secrets, but he would have had to have jumped here, and then jumped again here to get up on top. And here... We get the soup. We get the tuba. And the accordion. And the climb bottle. The ash statue there's our wonderful mapper play him an ode thank you for the map ash it's been wonderful and we are back at spawn there are all of the uh the secrets on this map so what my dear friends are the overall standings after all of that Let's take a peek. Do, 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 do. Yeah, there's more than one instrument. It's incredible. Oh, all the things going off. <laughs> okay, so. Here we are. Let's make it an Come on, we can do that. We can indeed do that. Here we are. In round one, 
we had just make that a bit smaller and just look over here. In round number one, we had Dizzy. Goblin, Source, Rogue, Knight, Delta, Vert, Frosty, Shinx, Woe, Freud, Tilted, Asdu, Snow, Grey, Ecas, Silney, Gibbs, Ale, and Various. Phenomenal strafers. On round one, Cool and VP making that map. Round two, Goblin took it, Delta, Freud, Shinx, Frosty, Knight, Sauce, Gibbs, Mui, Dizzy, Tilted, and that put us two points after round two, sort of sending. Right, bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. Never mind then. Oof. Goblin at the top. Source in second place. Distant second. That's wrong. Okay, not quite sure what's going on there. <laughs> this is apparently in 20... Ah, I've deleted the wrong button. Never mind. 2000-1891 Dizzy, Source, Knight, Shinx, Frosty, Freud, Tilted, Woe, Gibbs, Rogue, Grey Some great names in the top But you can see some of them Mac, Rogue, only two rounds played Dizzy, only three So he's going to be falling off after this one And hide Those and sort of ascending. Goblin took round three. Beating out Source, but only just on a tight map with a lot of points to it, this map. Knight, Freud, Shinx, Delta, Kane coming in massive on this round. Woe, Frosty, Vert, Tilted, As Do, Snow, Gibbs, JH, Snow, Uchi, Mui, Riona, Rainbow Shadow, me just outside with Various. Here? Oh wait, oh no, that's later. Okay, yeah, we've got something else for later. Right, that one matches up, so I just hide that and see if we can zoop it. We can zoop it, cool. Goblin, still at the top, source in second, knight, oh no, I haven't sorted it yet, hold on. Goblin, source, delta, knight, Freud, shinx, frosty, tilted, woe, vert, gibbs, snow, silny, rainbow, ferrous, tofu, as do... Quasar, Uchi, me, Nature, Shiro. As you can see now, we have everybody here with five rounds played, which is really good. Mui on four rounds played total. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're moving in, moving in on the total number of players uh, at the top, always having the full five rounds, which is brilliant because it means we have no major inconsistencies. Everyone's playing consistently and playing consistently well. And we've got a packed field. Next up, round number four. Uh, that map by VP. Round number three. Oh, hide them. There we go. Sort of sending. Goblin, once again at the top. Four out of five, he won. Goblin Delta, Source, Knight, Shinx, Tilted, Woe, Snow, Gibbs, Vert, Soup, Rainbow, Ferrious, Mui, Asdu, JH, Quasar, Uchi, Killer, Silni, Me. A great round on round four with some crazy cuts, some crazy uh, playing, some really inter like really interesting stuff down here. It kind of merged at the top and it was just more and more insanity on the same route as we went up from that sort of top five. But at the bottom was just madness. So many different routes. It was really great. Up at the top. Goblin, Source, Delta, Knight, Shinx, Frosty, Tilted, Woe, Vert, Gibbs, Snow, Freud, Rainbow, Ferrious, Asdu, Silni, Quasar, Uchi, Tofu comes up. Mui and me just sitting outside dropping down this week. Nature again staying there and Plaza and Woodges are just chilling out there. And then the final round as we have just seen it. 
We had Goblin at the top, absolutely killing it, keeping his top position. Delta, Knight, Dizzy, Soup, Freud, Frosty, Snow, Rainbow, Woe, Source, Gibbs, Tilted, Riffo, Quasar, Me, Uchi, Ferius, Plaza, Akimoli in 20, Banano in 21 with a fantastic run, Shiro, Lampvilla, Tofu, it is a great round. And then the overall in round five uh, for the total. That's the wrong way. There we go. Goblin stays in his place. Delta moves up one after being one point behind Source and absolutely kicking him. Knight jumps Source up into third place. Source dropping two places outside of the medals. He gets his tin. Frosty, then Woe jumps two places. Tilted staying in his same place. Snow jump up three. Freud jumps up three. Gibbs staying in the same place. Shinx is down six. Couldn't quite get a hanger on the weapons this week. Uh, Rainbow's up a place. Vert drops four, being just outside the, in 40th place with a minute run. Absolutely mad week this week. So many players. A minute is a solid, solid time. You know? So the number of people that we had using the weapons and caring and doing that, absolutely brilliant. Really, really happy with the number of people. That's the thing, that's the takeaway for me. The number of people that played and really played. Absolutely phenomenal. Ferrius stays in the same place. Quasar moves up to Uchi up to I'm up four, which is absolutely mad. Tofu's up one. Nature's up three. Plaza's up four into the top 20. Soup up nine, just outside the top 20. Shearer up four. Woodges are up two into 23rd. Silni dropping, Kabla dropping, Asdu dropping. Only 11 places, considering he got seven points for that run that we saw earlier. Oh yeah, having a phenomenal last map, really, really. But the difficulty of it, you know, and the sort of... We saw from Asdu's run how it was to get around it. It took me a little while to work out what the roots were and I mean I had to release a second bloody video because I stuffed it up. <laughs> Akimoli gains four places, he played well throughout, coming 20th in that round, did him well. Absolutely brilliant. The rel times, zoom out. Each round getting really, uh, like these, are, so the the further down here, we just kind of ignore them. We want to look more around the 50 mark here. Uh, up on the D column. About. Oh, you can't do that. So if I select that. So we're looking there. The closer they are, um, the the tighter the competition. Down here, it's just who did the slower run, basically. What, what map had a slower run, but all of them are sort of mismatched, you know. Round one having some ridiculously slow runs. But yeah, it's super tight on the first. And then round five, really far, really big distances, big gaps in the top 50. But that's how it is for these sort of um, these sort of maps. Uh, yeah, last year's map, Ash made one like this for the final map for round five. Absolutely incredible map. Uh, there's been some great weapon maps by Ash. He's a really, really good weapon mapper. It's difficult to make weapon maps that work for everybody. That don't en end up just being really difficult. So Ash does a phenomenal job with them. Overall ranking progression then. So this is where everybody went up and down. Uh... I broke it. There we go. So, Goblin was in second. He went into first after the second round, and then he stayed there the entire way. There was some flip-flopping for second and third, some points here. My favourite line is this one here from Plaza. Just goes up. Line goes up, gets better and better throughout, and ends up into the top 20. Uh, 
Vert, I think this is. Nah, because Vert, no way Vert gained on the last map. That must be Vert. These colours are a bit close to each other. Really great. Yeah, great, great lines bumping all over the place. Mm. Ah, here's some stats. We had the most players from Russia. Continental stats. Europe had the most, of course. With North America, a distant second. Oceania, South America, Asia. Great players. Here's the real legends. Played every round in XDWC history. Clasps, Lightbringer, Malice, Mario, Mirio, Morosophos, Knight, Pro Raid, Rainbow, Ramses, and Spike. Legends to have played every single map. I'm now at this point disappointed I didn't force myself in 2018 to finish all the maps, but hey, it happens. These guys, the list can only get smaller. And these guys are legends for doing every single one. Thank you to everybody who played this year. We now join the regular servers for regular play. Over here. This is what we normally do. We have spectator back if you want to. And here it all is. Uh, there was the Hall of Fame last XUWC with all of the players in the church. Yeah, what's this map? Oh, it's a slick map. So yeah, we have maps. We're always playing. There's plenty to do over here. Thank you very, 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 very much for watching. It has been absolutely phenomenal. All of the names scrolling up. Uh, the sideboard. These are all of the players, every single one. I'll be out with a couple of videos soon. Uh, my own XUWC records and the uh, recap video of all five weeks, which will be a shorter version of what we've just gone through just now. It has been absolutely phenomenal. Thank you so, so much for watching. It's, yeah, I've loved it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in just under 11 months time or world records every month on my channel streaming them streaming playing the game it's been amazing thank, thank you so much like i said the best takeaway for me for this has been everyone who's played consistently and yeah it it means i have an excuse to do this if people didn't watch i wouldn't have the excuse like, i do this for myself but yeah thank you very very much for watching it's been wonderful i'll see you next year